Hi coaches, good morning. I am working from home today because I got some stuff going on in the house. Um, so I'm just in my backyard, but I wanted to pop on real quick and talk about the topic for this week. And I just wrote a blog, so I'll post that below. Chantel just posted it. It's going out in the newsletter, but it's really about the opportunities in front of us that we do not see because of limiting thoughts, because of you know, an old way of thinking that's not applicable anymore, but we just can't see it. And I also talk about one of my favorite exercises. I can't, I don't know why I can't see who's on. This is annoying me. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can, can you just give me a thumbs up or a heart or something? Maybe that'll tell me for those of you guys that are on. Okay, anyway, um, what was I saying? Okay, so the opportunities that are around us that we can't see. Sorry, there's a plane going overhead. Um, but an exercise, there we go, hi Ash. Oh, we're talking later, awesome. Um, an exercise that is really effective and it's super simple and maybe you've seen it before, but essentially when I'm in working with a team and we're talking about perspective and how the brain works and the things that we see and don't see, the first thing that I do is I say, okay, look around the room and take 30 seconds and pay attention to everything that you see in the room that's red. So they'll see a red sweatshirt, they'll see like a little tiny piece of a painting or a picture that's red, they'll see a um, little piece of a shoe, they'll see whatever. And then I'll have them stop and they'll say, okay, tell me everything that you saw that was blue. And again, you've probably seen this exercise before, but they obviously didn't notice anything that was blue because they weren't looking for it. And the whole point is to illustrate that we only see what we're looking for. Now, I wrote in this article that I had such a huge example of this in my life recently, starting the Becoming a Mental Training Coach program, because this opportunity to coach other coaches has been in front of me for a few years. But my old way of thinking was, I was struggling, this industry isn't strong enough, um, I'm not even sure what I'm doing yet, there's not enough clients, I had like this feeling of scarcity, and some of that was real. You know, I've been doing this for 10 years, so some of that was real, but it's not real anymore. But my old way of thinking was that way. And so anytime someone would contact me about being a mental training coach, I wouldn't have anything to offer them because I, that, that opportunity in front of me was there and I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. I couldn't see the blue because I was only looking for the red. And so this is just a good reminder for me that I do this too. We all do this. There's opportunities literally right in front of your face that you're not seeing. And this is just how the brain works. So it's not unique to any of us. It, it's not something that we can necessarily get away from. This is, this is an important way for us to you know, filter everything that's coming at us. We can't take advantage of every opportunity. But it's really important to just know this about ourselves so that we can sit back and we say, okay, what's right in front of me right now that I'm just not seeing. Again, because of an old way of thinking or a limiting belief, or you just have gotten used to screening it out. Um, and this is what I love working with people starting their own business, right? Because the business is right in front of them. It's been there the whole time. If they're passionate about it and they, you know, they, they have some expertise and they want to do the work, it's right there in front of them. But they can't see it. They can't see the opportunity, they can't see the side hustle, they can't see the clients because they haven't been looking for it. And so the way that I, again, that exercise is really important. I think that's a great one to work do with your athletes. But the way that I try to see the opportunities in front of me, and in this article, and I'm gonna put it below, it's also the first one on the blog, if you just go to our blog on positiveperformance.com, um, I try to take some time to think what if and brainstorm or do some creative writing. And so the way that I came up with becoming a mental training coach was again, this has been in front of me for many years and I haven't seen it. And so someone emailed me, actually, actually it might've even been you. Um, someone emailed me, I'm gonna get these emails all the time. And finally I was like, you know what? What if I was to do this program? And so for you, like if there's something in your life, you don't have to commit to it. Just think, what if I was going to, what would that look like? And I literally just like started writing down all these things that I could teach somebody and that I could help them with. And I thought, this, I could, this is it. But I, I wouldn't have jumped to that level without doing that brainstorming time. You see how that, because it opened my mind. I was like in that creative space of 
just let my, let's let our imagination, you know, I'm in the garden, like let's let our imagination just float on what is possible. The opportunity in front of you, what is possible? It doesn't mean you have to take all of them. It doesn't mean you have to, to do anything. You don't have to do anything, but taking the time to think what if, and in this article I give like five different questions like, you know, what if you were going to try something just new? Like, what would that look like? Instead of like, oh, that doesn't work, or I can't do that, or I don't have the money, or I don't have the time, or like whatever excuses or reasons <laughs> that come up like immediately, push those to a side for a limited amount of time and just see what comes up. Because you might be surprised, and when you actually open yourself up to seeing the color blue, that it's all around us. And so that's my challenge for you. That exercise is great to do with your athletes. I definitely encourage you to do that. And how does that apply to athletics, right? That's like, okay, so if your athletes are only seeing red, maybe they're only seeing the bad things that you say to them, right? They're, they're choosing to only pay attention. Does this resonate with anybody? They, only, they choose to pay attention to the negative things because they have this belief that their coach is negative or, or you're negative or you're hard on them and that's all they see and all they hear. Um, playing time, things like that, that they think that there's maybe some injustice or there's something that's unfair and so guess what they see? They see red all the time. If you can get them into that space to seeing blue and just give them that perspective, then they're able to say, okay, I'm truly only seeing what I choose to see. And more importantly, I'm not seeing the things that I'm not looking for. So we only see the things that we're looking for. So in your life, I definitely encourage you to do this exercise. It's in the blog. I'll put it um, in the comments below. In your life, what if? What are the things that you're not seeing? What are the opportunities that you're not seeing? Comment below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If there's something right in front of you that maybe you've dismissed or maybe is not applicable to your life before because of limiting beliefs or it wasn't appropriate, but now it is and you need to revisit it and you need to start looking for the blue. What's the blue thing in your life? That's my question. What is the blue in your life, the opportunities in front of you that you're not seeing? What is it guys? And let's all do this. Okay, everybody have a great day, bye.